The Silver Jubilee began in Hawaii, where Shackley's top sales leaders and their families gathered at the luxurious Hyatt Kuilima Resort. Shackley families have always enjoyed the active outdoor life. For them, Hawaii was a perfect setting, a sun-splashed playground in paradise. From sand castles to sack races, there was something for everyone. With typical Shackley enthusiasm, mom and dad played as hard as the kids. Even when they were just lying in the tropical sun, the Shackley family did it with a distinctive flair. After a day in the sun, it was time to relax and reminisce at a leisurely poolside buffet. Good food, good friends, and good times, as only the Shackley family can enjoy them. But Hawaii was only a prelude to the excitement of San Francisco, where the celebration expanded to become a family reunion for 3,000. The Silver Jubilee was a mixture of hard-working business sessions and workshops, with evenings reserved for a dazzling series of gala events. Whirling from the Barbary Coast to Fisherman's Wharf to Chinatown, an endless banquet of sights, sounds, and tastes from San Francisco's past and present. The Shackley family's first night together was a birthday party unlike any San Francisco had ever seen. Shackley family has gathered together to share ideas, to support one another, and to celebrate their achievements. Since 1956, when Dr. Forrest C. Shackley and his sons began building their dream, Shackley has stood for quality and for opportunity. Shackley has offered millions of people around the world the chance to have their own businesses and to change the quality of their lives. In Shackley, no dream has ever been too big. No goal beyond reach. Through the years, recognition of outstanding achievement has been an important Shackley tradition. A center stage spotlight waiting for everyone. For the Silver Jubilee, that spotlight illuminated the special achievements of Shackley's pioneers those families who have been making their dreams come true for over 15 years. In the magnificent new Louise M. Davies Symphony Hall, Shackley's pioneer salute included some glittering surprises. <laughs> to symbolize 25 years of achievement, a flawless 1956 Thunderbird convertible. This silver masterpiece was awarded to one lucky pioneer couple in a surprise drawing. Margarita and Donald Wise, coordinator.
But this shining reward was only the beginning of an unforgettable evening for every pioneer. I am so thankful. I'll tell you, I just, well, I can hardly even talk, and, and that's something. <laughs> the excitement continued with a motorcade of limousines with police escort from Davies Hall to Shackley Terraces. This elegant parade was beamed live to Davies Hall so the entire Shackley family could enjoy the spectacle. As they step out of their limousine and they look up at the confirmation of the dream that Dr. Shackley began just 25 years ago. At the terraces, the pioneers were the guests at a private reception hosted by Shackley's executives. From the sparkling pioneer salute to the sparkling entertainment of the Shackley players, every Silver Jubilee Day was something special. But it's great to be here. We really feel it and There's nothing like this, not anywhere. There's a magic that's in the air. We're so ecstatic. We could shout. We could yell it out. To be emphatic. What's not to be happy about? Amidst the glitter and glamour, there were also moments of sweeping emotion as the Shackley family took time to look inside their hearts. Every Silver Jubilee family was asked to describe their fondest dream and to bring that dream to San Francisco. On each afternoon in Davies Hall, Jack Wilder, vice president of sales, shared one of those dreams. Less than a year ago, Hazel and Klaus Boback lived through a tragedy. Yet their dream was not for themselves. It was a dream for others. This is what Hazel sent in. I wish that I could take all the wonderful Shackley food supplements to Mother Teresa at Calcutta. I was born there, but have never, have never been able to return. I remember chronic poverty, starving children, and people without hope. This wish I have never shared, but it is on my goal chart. Well, we went to work on this wish, and especially when we found out what had happened to you and with this attitude, we said, well, anybody that puts on here, and I think it's a nice closing line, I sincerely believe that any goal I set, I will achieve. Well, we contacted Air India and talked to them, and we have now set it up for the both of you. Air India will be flying you out of Los Angeles. You will be going to meet with Mother Teresa. We've been in contact with their organization, and they're excited. You will have the plane loaded with Shackley products, too, that you can present to Mother Teresa. So she's going back to Calcutta with the products and all. For Linda and Nathan Mock, their fondest dream was for tomorrow, not for today. They dreamed of building their Shackley business so that one day their daughter Carol can join them in sharing the Shackley opportunity. A special dream for a special child. We have a very lovely seven-year-old daughter. And you may think this strange, but God has blessed us with a handicapped child. It's, it's a beautiful situation, but it gets a little rough at times. I didn't know I could shake like this. this Bear with us. Doing this. The thing that we put on the card, of course, was number one in our minds. We would love to have our daughter as whole physically as she is mentally. Uh, this will never be, even though things are beautiful as they are. But prior to Linda having the good sense to get into Shackley and God putting us in touch with Shackley, I, being in business, ran up some bills that have hampered our Shackley business. So I very simply put on the card that we would like to be out of debt so Linda could concentrate on Carol and I could concentrate on Shackley. Uh, we're here today. I didn't, uh, this is not surprising for Shackley to have us up here. It's amazing for us to be here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Now, I think that is so admirable that they're working with their daughter today and talking about the time when she'll be in such good shape and knowing that physically she'll never really be 100%, but she'll be capable of running this business as a lot of handicaps are. 
But what we would like to do is to open an account for her that you can draw on, and we'll start off and we'll put in it right away $10,000 that you can use any way that you want. Okay? <laughs> One thing that I want to say is Shackley was an answer to our prayer even before this ever happened because the insurance program has allowed us to get the medical attention that she's needed. The car has allowed us to get there when we needed to get there. But more than anything, it has allowed us the security to look down the road and see that she will be able to be come into a business such as this and be accepted as a human being and not as a handicapped person. It's a blessing, folks. It's nothing like it out there. Thank you. God bless you, Nathan and Linda, and thank you very much. Only Shackley would dream of turning a cavernous old waterfront pier into a glittering banquet hall. And only Shackley could make the dream come true. The transformation required 5,000 yards of carpet, 3,000 feet of velour drapery, 20,000 feet of electrical cable, and over 200,000 watts of video, film, and stage lighting. Banquet itself required 60 cases of lettuce, 6,000 rolls, and 100 pounds of butter, and 18,000 strawberries. It took 30 chefs to prepare the feast and 225 waiters to serve it, the largest sit-down banquet in San Francisco's history. Unforgettable evening, topped off with superstar entertainment from the Osmond family. Sing a song for Shackley, sing your blues away. Sing a song for Shackley, sing it every day. Sing a song for Shackley, sing it loud and strong. Sing a song for Shackley, sing it all night. A week of memories, of joy, of surprises and sharing. One highlight after another. Yet for many, the ultimate experience of the Silver Jubilee took place on a cool, crystal clear evening when the Shackley family gathered once again in Davies Hall. They gathered to pay tribute to the man whose vision, strength and courage have been the guiding spirit through a quarter century of Shackley achievement. Would you please welcome Dr. and Dorothy Shackley. Dr.
Hello, Doctor. I told you they'd show up. <laughs> Friends and colleagues from past and present came forward to pay their personal tributes to Dr. Shackley. J. Gary Shansby, President and Chief Executive Officer. Come on over, Gary. Hello, Doctor. How are you? Better than that. Better than that. You look terrific. <laughs> you look beautiful. How are you, Dorothy? You're fine. It's Very so nice to have tonight. this little surprise. We have a party for only 3,000 people out here. Oh, fancy anybody coming. It's wonderful. That's unbelievable. <laughs> We've got a fairly good start. Good start. I think we're just getting started, too. <laughs> Co-founder Forrest Shackley, Jr. reminisced with his father about the early days of the company. One or the other. We were fairly close. And if one of us had a problem, we go talk to the other two. And without the details of what may have happened, there's no challenge that cannot be solved. But it takes talking. <laughs> Doctor, when you sit down to talk, was it always nice and friendly and congenial, father and sons? Heck no. <laughs> Co-founder Lee Shackley found eloquent words of tribute to honor his father. Words that expressed the gratitude of the entire Shackley family. Isn't it something? We have a right to be proud. But most of all, and I can say to you, you must be proud. Because you have sowed the seed, you have set the stage philosophically for everything that this company has done, for everything that the three of us have done, and hopefully everything that all of the people in the field continue to try and do. Joan and Al Hagerman reminded everyone of the inspirational leadership Dr. Shackley has provided through the years. When I've had down times, I always remember the confidence you've had in me, and I've wanted to keep going and give it to other people. Good girl, just keep on giving to the others. We will. You keep that which you give away. Mm. You know, one of the aims of this convention, as you know, is to talk about the pioneers. In other words, the people that came early in this company and are still here. And when you say the word pioneer and you think about people that have contributed to this company, there's one name that always comes to the surface because she's the person that was credited with saving the company. And she wanted more than anything to be here. And there's one thing I learned in Shackley. When people want something, they make it happen. The lady that saved this company for us, Flora True, our truest pioneer of all. Flora? Uh, come on, Little that I can say, except she helped to make what now is the Shackley organization. We're very, very happy to bring her in to our organization because she helped make it. Uh, doctor, in the days when 
he would go out and make talks around the country. Did, <laughs> did, was he hard to get out? Did he just want to stay in the office? And what happened when he went out there? We just called him and asked him to come. He, he never once said no. He was always anxious to come. And I say, no. We started our meeting at 7 o'clock and we closed at 9. But at 11 o'clock, <laughs> we, we were still going strong. <laughs> well, let me. <laughs> on the edge of the seat and just drinking every word in and I didn't have the heart to stop. <laughs> oh, let's give a big hand to the best pioneer of all, Flora Flora? It was just an absolutely perfect evening. Um, 